Right. Oh, I'm pissed. Right. Oh. You're poor racism. Okay. So we're sitting here telling you that you are being racist. You are being offensive. You admitted that you hurt us. Why can't you say sorry? <laughs> and you hurt you. Hurt you. I'm sorry. By no. saying that we're going to have the right to dress up as us, that's no, how you're hurting no. us. No, no, it's not that you're hurting us. One at a time, please. Would you, would you one at a time. It's very easy for any trivial world of mine to be misinterpreted. So I'm one at a time. I'm happy to speak to you as much as you want. I can't speak to you as much as you because I have other students that need time as well. So, unfortunately, in a little bit, already I'm late. I'll have to go back. But there'll be more opportunities. Let me just say while I'm here a couple things. Uh, a couple things. Give me one second to say. We are meeting with Asilomen only students uh, at noon to 2 on Sunday who signed the, uh, the open letter, because my primary obligation is to Silliman students. And because we've had so much interest, we are going to open it up to all Silliman students on Sunday. We will have additional, we will have additional, I won't I won't finish. I was gonna tell you about the events we were planning, but she had her hand raised and yeah. Yeah. sorry, what's my name first? Um mm. See, now this is the thing. So I have, oh, I have 500 I students. No, no, no. But the no, thing was that. Wait, wait a second. second. Wait a second. Not everyone yell. I was in your class my freshman year, and attended all of your office hours. You were my sophomore year advisor. Oh. I am currently the Silliman Activities Council co-president. I live here. I eat in the dining hall for all three meals, and you should know my name. Yes, I should. My name is Michaela. Yes, you Michaela. have called me other names. You've called People have called me Geraldine. People have called me Malika. People have called me Nina. But now I'm, I've learned Geraldine and I've learned Malika, and I've learned. <laughs> Thank you. So I have five hundred. Yes, I have five hundred names for learning. I know all but it's not just yes, but you know, let me, let me. I have five hundred names to learn, and if you'd like to see this as a personal offense, my difficulty in learning names. You can. I do see as a okay, but okay. I have a point because. But Michaela, you have to understand, it has nothing to do with your race. My difficulty in learning your name. Well, you that's how it seemed because that's. I know, but can you name. see? Can you see? For example, can you play music? Yes. Okay, I cannot play music. So when people try to talk to me about musical things, Missing I don't understand. How is this going? Point? I am making an idea. I'm expressing that one of my limitations as a person, which I always had, was I wasn't very good with memorizing names, and it's got nothing to do with race, Michaela. I think this conversation and its intensity will really seal it. And I hope, in my prior interactions with you, I've never treated with you with any disrespect. And you haven't. I was just about to say, in this class that I took with you, where you expressed issues about how you showed scientific studies about how racism affects the black body yes. in its physical, physiological form, physiological form. Yeah. Yes, yes. So I'm saying this, these studies that you have cited, mm -hmm. which seem that you seem to not, be, not care about, that you and your wife seem to have kind of dismissed in the course of events of the past couple weeks. Mm -hmm. You've gone to discussions with students, but largely have not listened to us. That has been the biggest thing that I've heard. That has been my biggest reaction from this email, is that you're not listening. You're hearing us say things, and both of you have gotten incredibly defensive. You're retweeting things, saying Obama mm -hmm. thinks we're coddling the American mind, mm -hmm. and you retweet it from the Silliman account, mm -hmm. as Preach. if that I want that information to be yes. associated with me. We don't. I came to Silliman, <laughs> I moved in here my freshman year, mm -hmm. and it became my home. I give tours every day, not every week, and have to stand here in the courtyard and say, this is my home, I live up there, my master's there, my dean, I love my college. And I can't say that anymore because it's not a home. It is no longer a safe space for me. And I find that incredibly depressing for the freshmen who are here and who don't know any better, who don't know that this was once a space where I was proud to, what I was proud to be a part of because it was a loving community. Because I feel that in your role as master and associate master, after sending that email and after not having an appropriate response, that our opinion has been dismissed. That you guys have not said, I hear you, I hear that you are hurting, and I am sorry that I have caused you to feel pain. I have not heard that from you, and I have not heard that from your wife. Mm -hmm. And that is what I want to hear. I don't want to hear any more defensive terms because it's not, it's not fair to us. Yeah, Michaela. Yes. Thank you, Michaela.
I'm, 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 uh, I'll just say that um, it's interesting to me that even though we had all that time together and you took the class with me, you still didn't form. I'm speaking. Okay. I don't want to look away from just her. Just talk louder. Just I'm, doing I'm doing my best, everyone. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Okay. So I'm trying to address her directly and as a human being, face to face. And I don't want to turn my back to her. And I don't want to yell at her. I'm this car. If I raise my voice, so you can hear me. So please stop misjudging anything I do. Okay. Just give me a little bit. I'm talking to her now, right? So as I was telling you, I'll speak up a little, so I won't. I won't yell at her. Is that fair? That's fair. All right. Okay. All right. So what I wanted to tell you, Michaela, is that you have spent time with me. You've been in class with me. You had all those experiences that you described. And what's amazing to me is, despite all of that, you weren't able to form an opinion of me as a human being and what my beliefs are. Able to form an opinion of me as a human being and what my beliefs are, and to see the extent to which they're in agreement with your beliefs. <laughs> That you, you, you seem to think that somehow I don't agree with the content of your beliefs. And that's not what's happening from my perspective. From my perspective. I, I don't okay. see you as can a I, can, I, can I say something? Can I, can okay. I just interject really quickly? The moral of Michaela's comment is now the moral of the story is that she wants an apology, yet you respond not with an apology. That's 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 that's, that's, that's you, my question. I'm just saying, you, are you gonna are you gonna I said, can I can I finish? Are you going to address the heart of her comment? That's all I want. Are you gonna give an apology? Are you gonna say that you're hearing us? Are you gonna then go to the lengths that she wants you to go to, which to me don't seem very far, but still seem we're not making a judgment on Master Christakis is inherently bit like we just want an acknowledgement of hurt and we have yet to get that which Michaela just said in different words yeah, yeah. so my question is are you going to say that or not because then I could just leave if you're not going to say that because I've heard from I was at the discussion I hear I'm going to be there on Sunday and I'm going to listen but like what I'm listening for I've not yet heard so I'm just asking are you going to yeah. provide that or are you not going to provide that I have to think about the, this idea for a moment so if you the idea of apologizing Yes, because let me ask you this. If I ask you to apologize right now for delaying me from all my other obligations to other students... Oh, uh, okay, my question is... Yeah, I, okay, let's say I was late. That's just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just, three hours I'm on cross-campus. I'm, I'm just saying, the fact that you ask for an apology doesn't mean that the other person you know, instantly has to say yes. Okay, so that, okay, okay, okay. So the person sorry. has to think perfectly. about what it is that you're asking okay, for. Okay, so then, okay, so then my question is, what? what is the, Tell me what okay, is, that's for, what okay, 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 my question, question, okay, if I'm in the courtyard so playing Nicholas, games, so, right, and I'm kicking around a soccer ball, you happen to be walking in the path, I kick the soccer ball, I break your nose, right? Isn't it, you are experiencing pain right now, yes, physical pain. Yes. It is in, it, I need to apologize because I have caused you pain. That doesn't matter if that's I feel like argument. I need you. That's okay, so argument. okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So that's, yeah. that's yeah. the thing. My larger right. question like, then to your question is, is, is what is the role of an apology, right? An apology is in order when someone has been hurt, whether you inflicted that pain accidentally or on purpose, right? So like, I think that we're not debating like, whether it shouldn't be a question as to whether you owe us an apology. I mean, even yeah. if you were, even if you were like a stellar human being, right? You like did everything right, but then one day you fucked up. That one time fucking up is enough to apologize to the person that you hurt. We're not making a larger judgment about who you are and your character and what you believe in and what beliefs you hold. You can hold a belief and then still go back on that belief. All right, that doesn't mean that like you less hold that belief. You see what I'm saying? So like, I do. it's not, okay, perfect. So then that means you owe us an apology <laughs> okay. because you heard us regardless of whether you hold similar views or whether you intended to or whether like I didn't mean it or like whether I'm sorry, I misspoke, I like misworded the email. That is irrelevant. What we want now is a response and a moving forward. Not, oh, I meant this. No, oh, like, I don't think you understand me. Like, okay, it doesn't matter if I understand you. The net effect well, like, does is doesn't matter if you understand me? Well, you had me until there. All right, okay, fine. You had me really until there. We can just cut that out. Okay, wait, 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 wait. See, then I just made a mistake, and I'm sorry for saying that. It doesn't matter. First of all, what's your name? Lisa. And Lisa I've had dinner with you. Good. I've seen you around, okay. and I'm glad we can meet again. Okay. <laughs> so, right. Lisa Michaela. All right. Um, so, I think what I heard you said okay. is, is that whether we meant it or not, okay. and regardless of what we said, mm -hmm. it hurt, uh, I, I don't want this to come across as the wrong way, but it hurt your feelings, and many people's feelings. Okay. But feelings, like you can argue with the word. I don't want to offend you by suggesting okay. the wrong word. I know it's more than your feelings, okay? Okay. I understand. So, what we said, uh, uh, whether we intended it or not, 
and uh, regardless of its content, hurt your feelings. And you would like me to apologize for hurting your feelings. Is that right? It's content yes, hurt I feelings. still think that the yeah, phrase so, hurt feelings Okay, is, tell me is, the phrase you want me to use, I'll use it. I don't know, was an expression of racism? I don't know, I won't agree with the statement was racist. We're telling you what it is, and you're saying it's not that. No, no, hold on. Why is it racist? No, no, hold on. You can say hurt feelings, but I want you to recognize that it goes deeper than a feeling. It is an affront to a group of people. Okay, great, so then that's what I want you to say. If you understand it, then you can put it in your own words. Okay, so you want me to say, I apologize that I hurt your feelings. I'm looking at her and I'm listening very carefully. And it goes, and deeper than that. I, don't like that. I know it's deeper than that. So then apologize! No, I want to make sure. I don't understand, like... What is this? Can I, can I, can I say, can I say, I'm sorry, you believe that you have conflicting principles, right? Yes, you, you believe in the Let me finish this, please. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to break out like this. No, 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 Look at the sorry to break out like this, but like, the one principle that you have held, right? Okay, can I, can I ask you? What is so hard for you to say those words? What is holding you back from that? Like, I don't understand. Do you need to know what you're apologizing for? Is that what your inherent discomfort with saying these words is? Is it that you're losing face? Is that you're losing ground? No, is it that, like, that. your authority is lessened? So then I don't understand why things. we're still standing here and having this one-on-one -on -one conversation none of those right things. now. It's none of those so then what's the problem? Let me know the problem. Um, first of all, I would like to apologize for hurting your feelings, mm -hmm. genuinely. Okay. And you allowed me to use that expression without it being seen as trivializing your experience. Okay. Okay. So I mean that. And I also, having apologized for hurting your feelings, in addition, I will acknowledge that that comes from a very deep and legitimate source of complaint. Acknowledge that that comes from a very deep and legitimate source of complaint. I understand it. Okay. I understand to the extent that I can some of the struggles that many of you have had. Do you know? To the extent that I can, so you can, to the extent that I can. All right, so if I cannot, if it's, then if I cannot, then I'll tell you. Let us define, let us define our own If I cannot. Let us tell you if you're being racist. Okay, no, 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 no. Actually, that is actually how it works. One second, one second. Let me say something else. So I have a vision of us as people, as human beings. <laughs> yes. Actually, that actually privileges our common humanity. That is interested not in what is different among us, but what is the same. Okay? And so we all have the capacity, I believe. Okay, so you so Let me finish one sentence. I believe, even though I have a different life experience than you, even though I have a different skin color and gender than you, I believe there are parts of your experience that I can understand as a human but being. You know how that's can not you, what this can is I really hold on, one, one idea at a time. No, listen, listen. One idea at a time. If you want to just. Uh, Look for reasons to either dis uh, to to think ill of me. You are free to do so. We but if you'd like to, I okay, understand so you think ill of me. Like, but if you want to hear what I have to say and you want to actually, you know, uh, act in a way that like in, like is like people who are interested in a conversation, then let me at least address as a human being one thing at a time. Don't act like a mob that's trying to get me to say different things. Like I was just saying, I have a vision of ourselves that unites our common humanity. Okay? So I believe even though I'm not like you in the sense of my superficial appearance, that I can sit down and talk to you and understand understand your predicament. You know, that I can listen to you. If that's not true, if you deny that, then what is the reason that you ask to be heard by me or anyone else? Because we're dying! Look at me. Yes. Look at me. Yes. Do you understand? You and I are not the same person. <laughs> we're humans. Great. Glad we understand that. same person we are humans great glad we understand that but your experiences will never connect to mine. Empathy does, is not necessary for you to understand that you're wrong, mm -hmm. okay? Even if you don't feel what I feel ever, even if nobody's ever been racist to you, because they can't be racist to you, mm. that doesn't mean that you can just act like you're not being racist. And if you were to sit down with each of us, as you just suggested that you yeah, could, to, under go ahead, to, go to ahead. understand I'm our standing here. I know, I know you are. If, yes. if you were to sit down with each of us, everyone here and, and many more students, to, to discuss our experiences so that you could better understand them, you would find that the message that you sent proclaiming that cultural appropriation on Halloween is totally permissible is 
is hurtful. You, you, would, you would understand I, that. And I think that you can look at the effect that those actions had on these students and many other students on this campus, and you can objectively say that that effect is much worse than the effect of the email that was sent out by the, the Intercultural Affairs Council or whoever sent that out, saying that students shouldn't. So, I mean, maybe people here are looking for you to just say sorry and not not, not a more well, thorough I, I don't want to ignore her, by the way. So now the other guys are taking over. I want to come back to you. So, you so, need to maintain the power in this situation. Right. Okay. Can so, I, I still have another really quickly, like super quickly. No. Yes. Yes, Dara. I understand. Are you in Solomon? Are you in Solomon? Are you in Solomon? And I'm not going to come hurt this man. I'm perfectly fine. I'm, I'm a sociology no, major. I'm probably going to take a class with him. I look forward to it. I look forward to it. No, I need you to not help me. I was very close and I was shaking your hand, but I need but, you to understand all right. the situation right now does not require you to smile. Okay? okay. I, well, but right. listen, you are surveilling, like I said at the beginning, I could misstep in any way. I could you have. look. I have, of course I, I have, because their standards are constantly shifting. If I look at a person in the eye, I'm not, not looking at no, the whole situation. Okay. If I smile, it's seeming like no, I'm not, dismissing. Not if I, I honestly, okay, but so I honestly. So I'm trying. No, I want you to own the fact, all of you, to own the fact that. I, it's very easy to take something I say and, and misinterpret it, okay? No, 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 no. That's part of it. So I'm trying very hard to talk to you, to show you the kind of person that I am, and to engage you one time. I have not forgot the apology. Where did you go? Well, I'm now other people are talking to me. Yes. Hi, I'm Michelle. I'm, I'm Nicholas Michelle. I'm senior in Solomon. Yes. Um, I think, like, the conversation that you're going to have on Sunday is great, and I think that that's the sort of discussion that you're talking about in the the school meeting, but the only apology that I would like to see is like two Solomon students and like who, I mean we've been here all three years, I love this place like so much and I'm not saying that you're a terrible person, I don't think that, never have, but I do think that somehow this home is broken and like Solomon students need to hear from you that you're sorry. That I am sorry that I hurt your feelings. And again, using the word Can hurt you your feelings without trivializing it, okay? So unless someone gives me a different word Why so that... Why do you care so much? We do I'm apologizing again. She says to me... I don't want to use the word pain. No, pain. I'm sorry I caused you pain. Yes, I'm willing to say that too. Yes, what thank you. What you did was create space for violence to happen. That I disagree with. No, 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 no. I disagree. I disagree. It's, it's, it's not, not a debate. It's not, not a debate. Uh, one second. I'm going to talk to her first. I'm going to finish her. One second. Yes. You didn't even let her finish her statement. Should I finish talking to you? Or should yeah, I mean, it's fine. So I'm All sorry. I'm saying, and if you're willing to apologize, that's me. Yes. I just think like an email to the rest of the community yeah. is necessary, especially Solomon. And especially to Geraldine, who called Gen Z and then told her, like, I'm so sorry, like, I'm already enough trouble as it is, was wrong. And she felt hurt, and you shouldn't just say, like, I didn't mean to disrespect you, just say, I'm sorry. And, like, because her feelings okay, were hurt. Okay, I understand that, but you have to understand that my calling Geraldine Gen Z it's a mistake I make with all people, regardless of their race. Yes, and I apologize. I'm sorry I said to her. You should know me by I said, now. I, you don't even I know agree, who I am. Jency, Jency, I agree. This is my home, and oh. you came in here. You adopt to me. Do you I, understand that? Yes. I, you take care of me, and you haven't been doing that, and I've kept quiet. I'm your head aide, and you don't even know who I am. You never tried to know who I am. Your wife, and you came in here. You adopt to me. Do you I, understand that? Yes. I, you take care of me. And you haven't been doing that, and I've kept quiet. I'm your head aide, and you don't even know who I am. You never tried to know who I am. Your wife came in here this morning. She's never invited me anywhere, and she invited me today because she knew that she was in trouble. You need to understand your community, and you cannot come in here and change things. This has been our home. Do you understand that? Jensi, I hear what you're saying, and I hear that our arrival is a change from before. And I also understand, Jency, that we hurt you, You're, we caused you pain. I understand that. I apologize for my difficulty with learning 500 names. It's got nothing to do with ethnicity, first point. Second, I never said that. Okay, second, you, you, even though you, Jency, with whom I've interacted before and with whom I thought I had a decent interaction, although I've tried, I have 500 students to get to know, not just the people here. I have a lot of responsibilities to everybody, not just the people here. So I am doing my best in the two months that I've been in the position. And uh, Geraldine, I was treating you like an adult when I said, you know, I'm in enough trouble already. I, inappropriate. Perhaps, yes. It was Definitely. clearly, I apologize, <laughs> that was inappropriate. But I made that remark in the same sense that I'm saying to you, if you can imagine what it's like 
to start a position and step in it the way I have in the last two months, you would see. However, 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 other other masters have different skills than me. We are your priorities, though. Yes, you chose this job. Yes, that's true. But for example, I have no musical ability, and I'm bad. So you're saying that you're under the time? Do you understand? Do you understand? In the concept of gaslighting, because that is what you are doing. You strip people of their humanity. It is not the same as not playing an instrument. Can I no, I'm making an analogy. Guys, it's wrong. Guys, it's not an analogy between. It's wrong. Do you I really? Have you you expect us to stand here and listen to your experience of becoming a master, and you can't even listen to anyone telling you that you have caused them pain. You expect us to listen. How am I not to listening to you? Are you just interrupting? Lisa okay. left because she was bawling because you couldn't say sorry. And Maya is standing here in front of you. Do you even I've know? I've apologized who she is? for causing pain. I was looking for the right words. Guys, you have created hello? space really for quick. violence. I disagree with that. I disagree with that. You, you don't get a choice here. You don't I disagree. Get I disagree that I've fostered violence. I disagree with that statement. Can I just really quickly? Yes. What is your name? You don't need to bend down. To I'm not down. bending. What's do, your name? Do, do, I don't want to. I do not want to shake your okay. hand. I do not want. I, I do not respect you. I don't hear that. I'm looking at the smirk in your face and I, I'm disgusted. Okay. I am sick. And I'm sick watching them argue with you after we've been standing outside literally for at least five to six hours. Between you and Holloway, between last night to now, we've been arguing with people who are not willing to be listened to for a long time. And all I see from you is arrogance and ego. I am sick looking at you. I am disgusted watching Alex argue with you. You were not listening. You were disgusting. I don't think you understand that. And before I wasn't, I, before I was not angry, per se, I was disappointed maybe. I thought maybe there was room for, for an apology. You've clearly told us that you do not plan to offer an apology for your words. You left the meeting last night to go home and then tweet, do not interrupt me, to tweet from your Twitter and then the Silliman's Twitter, you show no remorse. You tried to let your wife leave that conversation without having answered for herself. That is disgusting. That is sick. And now, I wasn't angry before. I was not angry before, but now I am actually angry, sir. I really, do not interrupt me. I was not angry, and now I want your job to be taken from you. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to have this job. I am disgusted knowing that you work at Yale University where I will get my degree, where I will look back and think I have to argue with you. All right, don't, so, I, I, no, I, I, no. I miss my sir, turn now. Sir, it's my sir, turn now. Don't do it. So, don't do it, sir. Do not do it. This is not the day. You do not want to play this game with me. Do you understand what I'm saying? You don't want to play this game with me. Okay? Understand that. Look me in my face, first of all, and understand that you are such a disappointment to this university, to your students, to yourself, to the things that you claim to agree with. You are. You want free dialogue? You want free speech? This is how it works. Someone speaks, you listen. You do not cut them off. You do not do these, these condescending gestures. You do not smirk. Yeah, you look them in the face you. and you wait. You wait until it is your turn. It was not your turn when your wife sent out that email. Mm. It was not your turn. It was our turn to send out an email to these students and tell them not to, to appropriate our cultures or, den or denigrate us to respect us. It was not your turn, sir. It has never been your fucking turn for a long time. You've had your turn. You had your opportunity to, get, to apologize to these people. You had it, and I'm sick that they're still waiting for it because you're not going to give it to them. It's clear, and I'm not waiting. I'm going to leave, and I'm going to get my money. I'm going to go to work. I'm going to do my homework. Go I'm going to watch Scandal with Murder. Yeah. I'm going to live my life knowing that you are going to be the disgusting man you were 20 seconds ago, a minute ago, 30 minutes ago, an hour ago, a week ago, and onward. Knowing that I can't reach you, but I want you to understand that I am done. I am done, personally. They should be done, and I really hope y'all just go home and leave this man alone in this courtyard with his chalk and his sick beliefs or whatever the hell this is. This is sick. I'm done. I'll leave, please. <laughs>